hello guys welcome back to new video in the ps video uh ps2 video we have discussed in the first video we discussed the introduction of the enzyme sorry the proteins and in the last video we discussed the different uh amino acid radicals so i do hope that you are clear with all that and if you haven't checked out that video do check it out they are very important for the basics now in today's video we're learning about uh, the the bond that uh, the peptide bond that are found between the amino acid to form polypeptide chains let us get into it first of all uh, let me consider uh, simply as i told you before that uh, this is a structure of a uh, let me copy and paste it so that it gets more clear to you guys right now i'm going to paste it over here this is a minor acid right La let me do some changes in it uh you'll see that um, in amino acid we are having uh, hydrogen over here and NH2 and CWO uh, H let me make a change over on this side I will do a change that is like uh, CWO H let's, let's look into the composition how that is made C double O H right okay so over here we will make a O so this is a uh, amino acid basic structure right now we need to make a uh, bond between amino acid so there will be two amino acid for suppose for example that will make you clear concepts of two different topics in a single video we take a radical of uh, uh we take a radical of uh, for suppose we do take a radical of uh glycine glycine yes we take hydrogen over here the one which is with hydrogen in the last video i did explain here it is glycine that would be hydrogen and i explained this is this is a structure made over here and if you do look into it uh hydrogen this is this is glycine right this is glycine now uh, let me do a thing I'm not mentioning this part over here I'm just writing C double O H so that for 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 understanding purpose it gets more clear C double O H this is the same composition I do hope that you agree with it this is just we have not mentioned the bond uh, let me remove this one side bonds as well I will just write NH2 which is required NH2 this is glassy simple now what you're gonna do is this I'm just making you understand how to make the bond let's take another radical amino acid uh, I will copy copy it throughout Okay, so what here? Yes, it's done. Almost done. We did make a simple mistake, but hopefully this time we are not. Okay, so this is beautiful. This is beautiful. This time it's beautiful. Uh, we do attach a hydrogen on this side. 
and we will remove the radical group from hydrogen we don't need glycine i'm just making you understand to how to make a different uh, radical amino acid like the, the diglyceride also can form i'm not deciding with that too this can also form. just let me take a different example for suppose i would take alanine the ch3 group ch3 group alanine alanine this is alanine right now what we gonna do is that uh, you know whenever uh, in our carbohydrate series we discuss that whenever we want to make a bigger bond we want to do the hydrolysis this is very common like when water is released uh, the bonds form we do want to do the hydrolysis now look what I'm doing very very carefully this is the main step we want to take out hydrogen in case to combine these both now what will happen this OH okay, let me show it with another pen uh, yes that would be great with a blue one OH will go up and 1H I'm writing it half 1H I'm not completely shading the H2 I'm doing it half that means 1H will go up this is very very careful statement we want to take out water the OH group will come from the C double OH while the H will come from NH2 and in result what will happen do look into it very carefully uh, I've not shaded all the b all H2 I've just shaded half of H2 that means that one hydrogen okay let me mention it over I'm raising it because this is not like that this is OH and this is H now in what it will form in result let me show you guys uh, I do hope that you have uh, got it if you can take a screenshot that you can uh, yes I'm removing this all now how the bond gonna form we have given out one H and one H is still remaining right and the water is released water water is released H2O and the hydrolysis take place and a uh, bond has formed between them in a way like this this is a bond formed simply a bond formed or uh, to make it more uh, decent you're gonna do a thing uh, to make it relatable just do a thing like this now you're gonna see that this is a huge compound or a huge structure linked so this shows that the amino acid are just combined and what has gone of uh, what we have made is that when alanine and glycine radicals combine they form a dipeptide and the dipeptide means the one peptide and two peptide they combine to form a dipeptide and glycyl alanine glycyl alanine will form plus alanine this is how it works and 